14 and here we will discuss in detail about function of discrete random variable that means uh, we had already gone through various discrete random variable but apart from that uh, if you try to source out uh, the uh, data from where it might have generated uh, then we need to know something more some more distribution so how we can generalize that how we can increase the class of uh, uh, random variable so we can introduce introduce and uh, further random variable by introducing function of random variable so again you will ask a question that if you are defining a function of a random variable so what is what would be the source of randomness so again uh, we had already seen that uh, uh, we are defining a random variable as a function or map from sample space to r so then i had already mentioned that uh, the randomness in the observed value of the random variable one observed value we generally denoted by uh, x of omega omega is an outcome of the sample uh, experiment so here uh, this is the source of uh, randomness i had already mentioned that the function x is not x happens to be a function that one is not a source of randomness omega is the source of randomness so that i had already mentioned that further if you define a function of a random variable then what will happen that if you try to see the, from the composition perspective of the function then uh, you will see that actually ultimately argument of that composition function happens to be uh, omega that outcome itself so that's way we again can say that uh, the function of a random variable would be again a random variable so that perspective we'll discuss here in detail so here we are defining function of a random variable suppose why we come up with uh, we are defining as f of x so remember that everything you have we are writing here in capital letter because uh, a random variable always be denoted by capital letter and one a specific value of that random variable we denote it by uh, small letter so whenever you are willing to write represent a uh, random variable always come up with uh, Cap, capital letter okay so here i would like to say further that uh, uh, what is happening here so if i ask that uh, do we see randomness uh, here in y so directly it is not visible so what we have to do we have to look back uh, x x is what x is again a function of uh, outcome so that's where we are we are writing this one like this way uh, x happens to be x of omega so we can say that uh, random variable we define it like this way it is composition of uh, uh, f with random variable x and uh, it is acting over omega outcome so that's where omega is again a source of randomness for y as well so that's where uh, omega is source of randomness for x likewise uh, observe will of x likewise omega is in source of uh, uh, randomness for observe value of y that's where y happens to be a again a random variable so that's a, in that perspective you can just uh, enlarge your class of discrete random variable likewise you also will enlarge class of continuous random variable so coming to outline of today's lecture first i will give a recap of uh, one more important uh, that discrete random variable that poson uh, random variable so we will discuss poson and i will talk about that po where, where you observe poson random variable so uh, you might have already uh, observed call drop everyone might be aware of call drop do you know what is meaning of call drop everyone might have cell phone so do you know what is call drop anyone may respond anyone what is meaning of call drop whether call drop is, uh, happens to be a frequent kind of uh, phenomena or rare kind of phenomena anyone am i audible or not yes 
yeah definitely it is a rare uh, rare phenomena so if i i uh, talk about probability of success consider as a call drop the pro the probability of being called drop then definitely that probability of uh, success it would be very very less very small probability of success so what is happening that call drop uh, we are trying to uh, 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 trying to count call, call drop in a given a specified interval like uh, uh, from uh, peak hour, uh, definitely you will observe call drop. And uh, likewise, also if you are uh, waiting for bus uh, at a bus stop, then what is happening that uh, you are looking for bus that go to your destination. So in that case, uh, definitely instantly you want to get bus at that bus stop for your destination. So what you have to do, you have to wait there. So definitely, if you, there is a waiting time, that what does it mean? It simply say that uh, uh, it is one time interval is coming. That means uh, within a time interval, that uh, that particular bus, uh, uh, that uh, happening of uh, particular bus, or uh, that arrive with, with very less priority. It is not like that frequently a bus will come for particular de destination. So always in that case. Uh, when there is a probability, we are counting number of success, uh, that uh, number of uh, rare event, some rare event happening, then it happens always within interval. In, the, in that time, again, we are counting number of success uh, in uh, several trials. There are the n trials. But here, things is that uh, one interval is associated with that. So that's why we can't apply here directly binomial theorem. So here, what we have to apply, we have to apply Poisson, but we don't have to apply binomial distribution. We need to apply a Poisson distribution. So Poisson distribution is coming there. When things are very much simple that in N trial we are observing K success, then simply we can apply uh, binomial distribution. But what is happening that if there is an interval specified in that interval, one event that we are uh, looking for that happens to be a, a rare event and uh, that probability happens to be very less then we have to perform large number of trials in order to observe the success. So in that case, uh, we can't model that directly binomial distribution. We need to apply another distribution. That one is Poisson distribution that I will talk about. And other also I will talk about how to approximate uh, uh, that uh, how to approximate uh, binomial distribution with the help of Poisson distribution. That approximation also we will discuss. After that, I will start to discuss about uh, function of discrete random variable and uh, we will discuss a lot of various example and uh, uh, after that I will discuss expectation that means mean also another name of expectation we can call it mean of a random variable because we know that uh, uh, that random variable observe various value so among the various value uh, do we need to find one representative value that means uh, most of the value of the random variable uh, within that uh, representative number uh, so that we are calling it expectation we will try to find expectation it is one kind of average simply you can say that expectation is average okay so coming to that first part that uh, we are talking about Poisson approximation of binomial distribution as i mentioned that uh, it is also counting number of success in n trial uh, in n observation but situation is that uh, we just fi uh, fixed an interval first and second that uh, that whatever we are looking for that happens to be rare rare so that's why we can't model that directly with binomial distribution we are modeling with the help of Poisson distribution like call drop like uh, accidents uh, uh, number of accident uh, in a particular city then it is not like that accident phenomena is a very frequent kind of things accident all uh, happens rarely so again uh, that if you consider a probability of success as a that the probability of uh, accident that that would be again a very less uh, probability that would be so that would fall in Poisson distribution okay so and uh, we'll see further if you uh, here we can see like this way the Poisson probability mass function uh, it, it is always characterized by uh, parameter lambda it is having a single parameter lambda and uh, we will see that Poisson probability mass function it happens to be a very good 
approximation for uh, binomial probability mass function provided the number of trial uh, happens to be very large and p the probability of success uh, happens to be very small in that case we can approximate a binomial distribution by a poisson distribution of poisson probability mass function both are discrete in nature so here uh, we define poisson distribution by this way the probability mass function of poisson random variable we define like this way this we can say that uh, probability that suppose x is a poisson distribution uh, poisson random variable then for a specific value of k uh, we define it uh, from the definition of probability mass function we say that it is probability that x is observing value uh, equal to k x is observing value equal to k that we say okay and here lambda is a parameter we told that it is talking about uh, uh, average success we can talk about lambda it is the average success it is directly coming like uh, we will see that uh, further property if you find the expectation of this one when i will introduce expectation that time you again we, that average success you will see it from the computational perspective okay and further we would like to say that if you are putting further condition that n happens to be uh, very large and p happens to be very small in that case the poisson distribution approximate binomial distribution this is what binomial distribution if you try to put this one in the framework of uh, like this way n choose k n that means in n trials uh, we observe k success then we have to that means k success means probability of k success would be p to the power k one minus and uh, if you are having k success at the same time we are having n minus k failure so one minus p to the power n minus k will come this one is what binomial uh, protein mass function or binomial distribution we call it simply i call it binomial distribution okay binomial distribution now uh, if here we are putting a condition so uh, that n if you try to calculate this value when n is very large and p is very small can you calculate this value when p is very small then p to the power k would be very small quantity and uh, 1 minus p would be also very a small quantity uh, okay and here n is very large so computation would be very tough to come up to, with directly if you compute this one okay so here uh, what we do uh, this would be translated into uh, in this framework how here uh, we take a <coughs> assumption that lambda happens to be equal to uh, n into p J take this so from here you can replace here uh, substitute back p equal to what p would be equal to uh, lambda by n replace everything and take limit of this one n tends to infinity then it will be converted into this exponential framework take here convert this one and take uh, limit n n is very large n is approaching to infinity in that case it will approach to this exponential representation of this Poisson distribution so, so i won't go in much deduction of that so just i am taking one example simply a question is coming like that uh, uh, you are performing n number 100 number of trials or 100 number of observations in that probability of success is 0.01 that means you can easily see that probability of success is very less very small and n is 100 that that means relatively it is large then if question is coming that find the probability of k equal to five five successes in uh, 100 trials find the probability that means a uh, question is coming that uh, you find uh, in binomial distribution find n uh, five successes are there that means out of 100 there are five successes that means you have to find 100 choose five 
times p to the power p is 0 0.01 so that you can write it 1 by 100 to the power 5 into minus 1 by 100 to the power oh, 95. So, if I am asking to calculate this value, definitely it will take time. The computational process would be little bit slower. Here, if you uh, use calculator, it would be slower. But how we can get an approximate value of this one directly with the help of Poisson distribution? We can get, uh, get it like this way. So, for the same here, uh, just apply Poisson distribution. Uh, Poisson distribution, what is happening that uh, uh, this, uh, the calculation through binomial distribution, it is coming like uh, it is 0 0.00290. This calculation is equal to uh, using calculator, we can calculate that. But again, you can observe that this calculation is a little bit tedious. It is uh, taking time. But what we do? In place of this, what we do? If we apply the Poisson distribution, then uh, uh, the calculation is very much simple. Here in Poisson distribution, just we have to come up with the parameter. So parameter lambda is what? It is just uh, multiple of uh, n and p. That means n is given 100 and p is 0 0.01. So if you multiply, then lambda equal to 1. So lambda equal to 1, very fine. Now apply the substitute lambda equal to 1 in this distribution and k is equal to given equal to 5 that means we are talking about 5 5 successes in 100 trial so just we have to uh, compute this one e to the power minus 1 uh, into 1 by uh, factorial 5 so this calculation uh, is coming 0 0.0030 so this one is very near to this value you can see that this this one is very near to this value and if i ask uh, this computation is very much uh, faster it is it is taking very less time you can see that this calculation is very much faster than this one. So that's why when uh, uh, things is that when n is very large and p is very small, that time we won't apply binomial distribution. We try to approximate from the Poisson distribution. Poisson distribution it is talking about. So here Poisson distribution only thing is that uh, it is having only one parameter lambda and lambda that happens to be n equal to p. Okay, so through that we can easily calculate lambda and just uh, we can define the corresponding Poisson distribution and approximate the uh, binomial distribution. That is the role of Poisson uh, approximation of binomial distribution. Okay, so now we uh, further we will discuss about uh, function of discrete random variable. How we can define function of discrete random variable? So uh, here this this one is really as I told that uh, we are trying to enlarge the class of discrete random variable. That's why we need to define function of various random variable. So it is defined like this way. We consider a, a probability model of today's weather. Okay, and suppose uh, the random variable x be the temperature that we measure in Celsius. X is talking about uh, uh, today's temperature okay uh, which we measure in celsius and uh, suppose we try to but uh, we are not comfortable in celsius so we try to transform the the measure x into uh, fahrenheit and that transformation is coming like this way y the transform uh, temperature is y that happens to be what is the relation between celsius and Fahrenheit that we say that y equal to 1.8 x plus 32. So it is just talking about transformation of uh, measure temperature that we measure in Celsius to uh, Fahrenheit. The temperature in Fahrenheit. So e easily we can say that uh, this computation would be uh, very much uh, easier, uh, easier to proceed with. Okay. Uh, so it is one kind of transform we are just uh, taking we can say that y is a function of x so it is just a linear function it is simply a linear function of x and now further for example if you wish to display temperature on logarithmic a scale and that means sometimes what is happening that uh, temperature is very small or very big very big or very small so uh, that uh, number if you try, uh, go for computational perspective it would be very much complicated so what you do better uh, perspective would be that uh, take logarithmic of that 
so uh, in that case what you do, you will define another uh, function of uh, x that would be log of x uh, and we call it uh, g of x as a log of x so easily if you if you are introducing logarithmic function to x in that case uh, that measurement becomes very simple like you uh, your temperature is something around 1000 10000 something like that so it would it would reduce to just single digit uh, it will and then your computation would be very simple and suppose your, your temperature is very very small like a point zero 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 one then again if you apply logarithmic here then it becomes uh, it come in a single digit so computation of uh, single digit is very simple so that's where logarithmic uh, uh, transformation of uh, given temperature also is uh, one kind of transformation which help to simplify our computation so again so here you say that x is a random variable y would be again a random variable if it is a random temperature then y would be again also a random temperature but here it has been transformed the unit is different likewise here log log of x is uh, giving different kind of uh, transformation of x okay so here because every outcome we can see it like this way here if uh, we are having a function of x uh, y as a function of x then uh, x it happens to be a random variable then here we will call it y is also a random variable since it assign a numerical value for each possible outcome as composition perspective that initially i had already explained that so if you further zoom it out then uh, if you try to act uh, suppose uh, uh, you want to see randomness of for observed value of y then ask uh, y to act on any omega so it would be acted through composition map this composition map so it would be g of x will act over omega and further it will be uh, defined like g of x of omega so due to th this uh, representation you can say that why is that simply from here you can say that this function is defined from where to where this function is defined from sample space omega to r so that's why we are saying that y is also a random variable it happens as a function of a random variable y is a again random variable because further if you try to see that here every outcome of the sample space is engaged by y that means what is the domain of y effective domain of y you will see that it becomes sample space of the experiment so that's way we can say that y is again it is directly a function from sample space to r and hence i had already mentioned that if you are defining a function from sample space to r then that would be a random variable so y is a legitimate random variable now uh, here Omega, it would be the same sample space. It would be the same sample space of the experiment. It won't. It would be the same sample space. So remember that here, random. Whenever we say that random variable, it is always defined from uh, omega to r. Omega to r. And here I am asking g of x. Definitely, it is a function of x, but it is directly not related with omega. Here we are not uh, looking direct relation with omega. So for that, we need to ask to act on omega. So it is acting like this way. This is the action. It is acting, and that, in that perspective, if you try to see, it becomes a map from omega to r. It would be the same omega. Uh, what x is having? Same over. Did you get it? So it is one kind of composition function not like that uh, here uh, it just uh, treat uh, every random variable treat as a function of uh, uh, outcome as a function of outcome uh, okay so each uh, it map each outcome to some real number it is just uh, one quantification it is giving quantification of each outcome so that's way so now question is coming to here then we had already seen that uh, various uh, discrete random variable and each discrete random variable uh, variable is having property mass function that we denoted by px of x for each observed value of x 
So now question would be there that if y is a function of uh, x, then can we uh, come up with one uh, protein mass function of y itself? Yes, we can define. So how we can define? Then here uh, it is very simple to define. We have to uh, y actually it happens to be function of x. So each y, each y, this uh, each y. What what is meaning of that? This small y as I told that it is one observed value of a random variable y. So each y uh, would have a preimage. So if you come up with any y and uh, it would have a pre image that pre image uh, would be x so uh, we denote it by a small x so here we are saying that a small x this this one is the pre image of y we are calling it pre image of y so definitely uh, if you come up with any observed value of y that would have one pre image or more than one pre image so compute the and you know uh, x is given to you so that's where you know property of uh, that Oh, each value of x that means you know p of x you know p of x so if you know p of x and hence uh, what you do sum of all these p of x for particular y that will give probability of y observing that y probability of that y that is the process okay so it is coming something like that so if you are willing to calculate probability uh, value of probability mass function at y then again we will apply the definition of uh, probability mass function it is defined as that y is observing value this small, a small y this random variable y is observing value, a small y and from the definition of uh, this y we know that uh, simply write it like this way what is this y it is already given to us it is g of x g of x okay and from here what we do if it is possible to invert there is then invert it and from here we can easily easily write uh, this probability is equal to probability that x is observing value uh, g inverse of y and remember that uh, uh, anyone may say that if g is not invertible what would be things what does it represent anyone if suppose g is not invertible then what does it represent it is not just uh, uh, here invertible situation is here uh, this uh, notation is talking about collection of all inverse images of that particular y are you are you aware of inverse images anyone yeah so it is talking about collection of all inverse images or all, all x those which has been mapped to y so you can say that collection of inverse images so simply call it inverse image of y don't uh, worry about whether g is invertible or not you look what are the value of x which has been mapped to y inverse so just call it in inverse images of x so look for those things and, and you know the probability of those things value of probability mass function for those uh, those x so, so that's why we are writing like this way that means uh, here in order to calculate um, value of protein mass function at y it is equal to summation of all those uh, p of x uh, which has been mapped to y so this condition is very much essential focus over this condition it is very much essential all those x which has been mapped to y and in some the those probability mass function that would give the probability mass function at y so that is the way to calculate probability mass function for function of random variable it is a little bit indirect but uh, there would be no any issue if you are ha having explicit form of y uh, y that g uh, then easily you can calculate that i will take example for you example through that it would be clear so suppose you are coming with uh, you are having a random variable x and distribution of x would be given to you uh, that probability mass function of x would be given to you and we are defining a new random variable as a function of x that means y is happens to be modulus of x okay so in that case uh, we have to find the probability of uh, probability mass function of y what is the probability mass function of y then what situation is given to us uh, then question would be there your uh, what is the probability mass function of x so probability mass function of x is given that it is uh, equally distributed in interval minus 4 to 4 uh, with respect to integers only uh, uh, x is talking about uh, what kind of value x is taking x is talking about uh, the uh, x is taking only integer value uh, between minus 4 to 4 that means minus 3 
तो माइनस फोर माइनस थ्री माइनस टू माइनस वन जीरो वन टू थ्री एंड फोर एंड इच वेल्यू इज इक्वली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड दैट मीन्स वट इज द प्रोटी मास फंक्शन वन बाई नाइन फोर इच वेल्यू ऑफ एक्स इच इच वेल्यू ऑफ इंटीजर्स विच फॉल्स इन द इंटरवल माइनस फोर टू फोर सो दैट मीन्स वी नो दिस इज द प्रोटी मास फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स इट इज गिवन टू अस आवर क्वेश्चन इज दैट वट इज द प्रोटी मास फंक्शन ऑफ वाई दैट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट हाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट प्रोटी मास फंक्शन सो एनी वन वुड लाइक टू सजेस्ट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट आदर गो हियर हाउ मेनी ऑब्जर्व वेल्यू ऑफ एक्स यू ऑब्जर्व नाइन then if you define uh, y equal to modulus of x then how many oh, value will be observed by y anyone how many value y will observe five yeah because this negative would be mapped to positive and zero would be mapped to zero itself so y would have just five value so definitely uh, the probability of, of observation of uh, value of y it would be little bit uh, increased so how in the, from that perspective we are seeing that so what are the observed value of y here uh, only these five in value 0 1 2 3 4 okay these are the ob uh, po only possible observed value of y so we have to find the value of probability mass function at these five value so first we go to find probability mass function of uh, y at 0 so we will from the definition we say that uh, what would be probability value of probability mass function of uh, y at 0 so from the definition you will say that it is just equal to probability that y is observing value uh, equal to 0 and just here do calculation like this way don't uh, uh, directly calculate it so what is y what is y here y is actually mod, mod of x so in place of y write it here mod of x and that one is equal to 0 if if you are having a number uh, which uh, uh, which modulus uh, which is having a modulus absolute value equal to 0 what does it talk about anyone if modulus of x is equal to 0 what does it talk about anyone it simply say that it simply implies that x equal to 0 So it it implies that probability of modulus of x equal to zero is implies that x is equal to zero. And what is the probability of x equal to zero? It is one by nine. So that's why we are having value. So remember that the suffix. Remember here suffix. I have taken it. Here suffix x is coming. Here suffix y is coming. So that means it is talking about probability mass function of y. It is talking about probability mass function of x. So those are very much important. Now we try to calculate uh, other value other than zero, non-zero value. So if you are taking uh, y that happens to be non-zero, then we are trying to compute probability mass function for y. So again, go to definition of that. And from the definition of uh, probability mass function, what does it say? It says that uh, y is observing this particular value, a small y. So that means probability that y is observing value, this a small y. Okay, and what is here this uh, random variable y? It is actually modulus of x. So we will write uh, in place of y modulus of x. Modulus of x equal to y. Now tell me what would be here? So till now here, uh, what would be this? Uh, what are the premises of, of uh, y? What are the premises of y? Anyone? What are the premises? Anyone? Yeah. So write it here. It would be probability that x is equal to minus y. Minus y and y both are disjoint outcome. X is equal to y. Minus y and y both will be mapped to y under the modulus operation. 
so that's why here i should write it x uh, y so here what is the y axis those are just notation convention not more than that you can replace so here, here easily you can say that x equal to so here uh, what does it is x is observing minus y so that's why from here uh, what you will say that it is talking about protein mass function for x uh, this one is talking about protein mass function of x so negative and positive so what is the probability of negative value of this one and positive value probability of this one is 1 by 9 and probability of this one is 1 by 9 in total you will get 2 by 9 so that's your probability that y is observing value this y which is non-zero ha having probability 2 by 3 so uh, this is the uh, distribution of uh, protein mass function of this function of, of random variable so geometrically if you are willing to visualize you can visualize like this way here you can see that x is equally distributed each value of x is having equal height equal probability equal probability mass function okay each value is having equal probability mass function that means equally likely distribution uh, distributed okay and if you are defining function of uh, x as a y happens to be modulus of x in that case we observe that y is not equally distributed it is distributed in non-uniform way so you can say why 0 is having probability 1 by 9 and uh, other non-zero value are having probability 2 by 9. So this kind of uh, just situation you are observing here. So th this is the mapping that uh, how to map a random variable to another random variable. And after that you have to find the distribution of the, that random variable based on the pre given random variable. So always if one random variable is given to you then you, your task would be that just find out what is the distribution of that and if you are having distribution of that then from that distribution try to find the distribution of function of random variable okay i will take another example so it, it is also a similar kind of example so we are having again same random variable x which is having distribution uh, uh, equally likely distribution uh, that means uniform distribution in the interval uh, minus 4 to 4 only for integers that means integers uh, which are between minus 4 to 4, to 4 are equally distributed with probability 1 by 9 okay so uh, with probability 1 by 9 so uh, after that we are defining function of x as a y uh, y equal to x square then our next task is that what is the probability mass function of y anyone what would be what first uh, first you have to look into that what are the observed value of y because you know x is uh, having nine value x is observing nine value what are those minus four minus three minus two minus one zero one two three four now under the map x square what are the observed value of y Anyone? 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, sorry. And this would be a square now. Okay. 1, 4, 3, 9, 16. So only these 5 value. Why will observe only these 5 value? So we have to find the probability of these value. Or observation of this value what are the probability so that would be directly derived from the probability of observation of value of x so we are doing like this way so here wrongly i have written it this, this would be uh, 0 1 4 9 16 okay so we have to find the probability mass function of y so how we can find apply the same process uh, apply the same process so what would be that uh, here uh, just uh, uh, enjoy this uh, this way of calculation because here this question is very simple there would be no issue but what would happen that when you will have complicated kind of question and you do this kind of analysis then simply you will be able to solve that problem without any uh, big issue so here simply write it like that what does it I always i say that probability mass function for y uh, at zero is defined as a probability that y is observing value zero and y is observing value zero y is what y is actually talking about uh, uh, as defined as a function of x happens to be y x square y happens to be x square so that's why we are writing it uh, x square equal to 0 if x square equal to 0 what does it talk about what are the possible value of x x will have only one value that one is x equal to 0 x is observing only one value that one is x equal to 0 and from here what is the probability of x equal to 0 that we know this one is nothing just it is talking about value of probability mass function of x at 0 
and that one is given to us it is happens to be 1 by 9 it is already given okay now likewise try to calculate uh, probability uh, value of probability mass function at non zero y so just we will write it uh, in the definition of uh, probability that y is observing value a small y a small y is the uh, one uh, particular value and here what is capital y capital y we can't here once we are writing a small y it is fixed we can't do anything with that y Re do you remember are you able to visualize that or not if we just uh, we are writing a small y that means it is a fixed quantity it is a particular quantity we can't do that uh, can't change that it is fixed only what is variable thing is here here this capital y is the variable thing and what is how capital y is written it is actually written as x square so that way uh, this thing we can play with only this thing so it is x square equal to a small y okay afterward what we will do uh, here uh, we will try to see what are the value of x which has been mapped to y anyone would like to suggest what are those value of x which has been mapped to y only two value one is x equal to a square root of y another is x equal to negative of a square root of y these two has been mapped to y what is uh, a square of a square root of y anyone it will map to y likewise minus if you t uh, do a squaring of this one it will map to y so that's way and tell me what is the property of this what is the property of this property of this one is 1 by 9 property of this one is 1 by 9 because x is observing this value uh, and this uh, okay so that means uh, uh, likewise what is the pre image of one pre image of one is what under the square function what are the pre image of one minus one and one both has been mapped to one pre image of two or uh, four pre image of four are minus two and two both has been mapped to four likewise minus three and three both has been mapped to nine okay and minus 4 and 4 both has been mapped to 4 under this map okay so that's where we can uh, just we are uh, trying to find probability of those pre images only and it would be equal to 2 so that's where if y is non zero then a probability is having 2 by 3 so in this way you can calculate probability of uh, mass function of function of random variable it is already uh, 945 other things we will cover in next class regarding attendance